In March of 2019, we saw this huge, devastating avalanche cycle really across the state. They were kicked off by one really big precipitation event, what we call an atmospheric river, where we have moisture being sucked in from the Pacific all the way across the continent and right into to Colorado. The big and destructive avalanches are slab avalanches, where a large cohesive piece of snow breaks away from the hillside and then goes rolling down the mountains and into the valleys. We saw avalanches that did a lot of destruction to the forest. They widened the avalanche paths, taking out hundreds of trees. They overran their traditional lower boundaries, pushing into the forest. And the debris piles that we saw destroyed huge numbers of trees, really into the thousands of acres of trees, especially in the San Juan Mountains. My name is Sandy East. I first came to the San Juans in the winter of 79 and 80, and I was probably about 19, 18, 19 years old. Is this our spot up here, Sandy? Just right down here. Down this. Oh, you okay. See how the ash was laying over? Gotcha. My name is Woody Smith. Uh, I was born and raised in Telluride, Colorado, and I am a graphic designer for Wagner Skis. Pete gave me a call and asked if I'd be interested in helping out some of his friends go retrieve Abbey killed aspen trees that, in theory, would be turned into ski cores down the line. What we're doing is we are getting some aspen wood out of avalanche paths that were either hit by the avalanches or the air blast. So we're going to take that wood and see if we can't cut some cores out of it. It was great being with Sandy and Jesse and them teaching me the ropes and kind of showing me how to harvest wood like that. You can see where this tree right here survived the main hit. It's lost all of its branches on the uphill side. So when this slide came through here, it did a lot of devastation. Pete has that vision. If he could source all of his materials here locally, how cool would that be for the Wagner brand? First was kind of the selection and then getting the chainsaws out, cutting them into size, and then building these sort of ramps to roll them down the mountain in order to get them to a place where we could carry them to the truck. What motivates me to do this is, is being up here in this area of the Snuffles Creek drainage where I've been for you know around 40 years skiing and playing. And, and how cool is that? You get you know wood from your local backyard to make skis out of. It is a wild process. I'm milling up the wood, seeing how it goes from that very organic shape into two by fours and then it'll keep going down and down until it functions as the energy in your ski which is a pretty cool process. It's a true labor of love 
There's just so much care and hands-on attention that goes into the product that uh, everything that comes out is truly one of a kind and that's unique in the ski industry. Of course, we got three that will potentially work. Do we have any idea how long it might take for these to dry out? The ones that are wet are going to take a little bit longer. We're going to stick them and uh, get some air flowing through them. Uh, and then they'll go in the kiln. They get three weeks to actually make the veneers and, and do the, uh, the course. All right. Take them from this rough lumber into a finished lumber. I think what's the coolest part about Wagner skis is the rideable piece of art. So it's not only a beautiful object to have in your quiver, just in your house, but uh, it's functional. So you can combine the visual element with memories of being on the mountain. Going back to that whole green and groovy thing of locally sustainable stuff, Within this 20 mile radius, we're able to get the wood, get it to the sawmill, get it to the, the mill to create the actual cores. And then it's only 40 miles to, uh, to Wagner. I think it's an exciting you know, concept to, to take wood that's laying on the ground that has no other use and, and trying to produce something out of it. And making skis with it isn't gonna you know, save the world or anything, but sure is a lot of fun.